Welcome back to Just One Question. Uh, we have uh, been pivoting, a word I'm coming to detest, to a new question uh, in these last uh, a couple of sessions. So I'm particularly thrilled to uh, have uh, my my dear friend, uh, Glenn Yopice, with us this time. Uh, Glenn is an executive coach. Um, he's a He's a remarkable human being. If I had time to tell you some stories about Glenn, I would, but we're going to get right to it instead. He is currently the founder of something that we've agreed for the purposes of this video to call it a think tank, uh, but it's really more than that. I think it's going to be a movement, and it's uh, leadership in the age of personalization, and I'm hoping we'll get some glints into Glenn's thinking because uh, it's really interesting stuff. But first of all, first of all, let's just check in. Glenn, you're out there on the West Coast. I'm here on the East Coast. It's good to see you. How are you doing? Just give us 20 seconds of check-in. Well, first of all, Nick, it's always great to be with you. Uh, always a pleasure to learn from you. Uh, but we're doing okay. I mean, we're, my family and I are, are uh, just grateful to be safe and well. And we're learning about how uh, communities can be mobilized, uh, how to uh, keep a five-year-old inspired and engaged <laughs> and uh, just to create uh, a, a bit of sanity. But, you know, it's been a time uh, for us to just be more closer than ever before and, and, and finding uh, new ways to uh, love one another. So it's been wonderful. That's great. I'm so glad to hear that. Uh, so uh, the just one question I have for you <laughs> is, uh, is, all 50 states in the U.S. are now open to one degree or another and sort of heading back to uh, work and, and, and public places. Um, and, and, and yet we know it's not going to be the same as it was. And it feels, still feels very different to us. And, and it's such a patchwork of different ideas and, and regulations and approaches that it, it, we're just in a state of, uh, of it seems like more... Uh, uncertainty than ever um, and at a time when of course some certainty would be great but so help us out a little bit Glenn and I promise I won't hold you to this but six no. months from now six months from now or a year from now um, what do you think the, the workplace and what do you think our world will look like hmm. well uh, big question uh, and an important one you know Nick I if I could just step back a moment I think that if you think of what we've all experienced to date uh, has been a world where uh, we've gotten to know each other uh, much better as individuals. I mean, in this virtual world that you're so familiar with, um, we've gotten to uh, see, you know, cats jump on our desk uh, in the middle of a Zoom meeting. <laughs> we've gotten to see how our uh, employees uh, dress or uh, the things on their walls. I mean, mm. we've, begun, we've become more personal, more intimate, uh, because of virtual communications more than ever before. And mm. I think what's happened, especially with uh, the clients that we work with, is, well, what's going to happen when we go back to whatever uh, this workplace of the future looks like? And one thing is clear uh, and crystal clear to me that, you know, we have been so constrained as individuals at work to follow these standardized playbooks about how we should work. And now we're learning that we've been given the freedom to kind of do things on our own terms. Mm. And so having said that, uh, I believe that we're in this process of preparing ourselves for the next normal and then a series of normals. What do those mm. series of normals represent? And so I'm taking you out a year from now, Nick. Mm -hmm. Each Great. series of normal of normals will move us further away from standardized playbooks of how we should work. And one that really honors and recognizes uh, the role that personalization plays in how we work. And we'll, where we'll, we will be in a year from now at a point where corporate America will have finally realized that they've placed unnecessary limits on the individual. Hmm. In other words, uh, a year from now, I see corporate America finally, and this was starting to happen already pre-COVID, mm -hmm. relax its standards on defining the individual. And where we will now have an environment where employees, given this freedom that they've been able to taste without the, the judgment that lies 
all around them in a workplace environment that's been removed in this virtual world. And so in order for those employees to remain engaged, um, I believe that we're finally going to see uh, an environment where we're going to find a greater balance between uh, standardized protocols and one that honors one's individuality. And I think we're going to find that there will be leaders that can operate in that environment, and there will be those that decide to retire early or find other options. Uh, in other words, uh, standardization um, of that, that we know it, and I'll just call it, uh, we won't, we'll no longer be ruling by standardization. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll be honoring personalization. And that's fascinating and, and so interesting. I think we've already seen signs of that uh, just uh, uh, in the last couple of weeks with companies announcing that um, some of them are going to close their offices and, and employees can work from home if they choose uh, um, from now until uh, the end of their uh, the end of their employment. So uh, um, already early signs of that. So uh, uh, Glenn Yopis, thank you so much for that insight into uh, a year from now and a year from now i will come back and check with you and see see sure. how well you called it but uh, <laughs> for now thank you so much it's great to see you always great to see you too and i love this format of just one question we get right to it thank you so much for your time and always for your support nick very much appreciate it